All right, welcome back to another Tech Tool segment here on CarCast. This segment sponsored by Discount Tire and America's Tire. These guys are great guys, 50 years guaranteed customer satisfaction, free puncture repair on your tires, as well as lifetime tire rotation. Check them out online at www.discounttire.com. And now on to the tools. Everybody knows what the pop rivet is. It's a pretty simple uh, device that uh, fastens from the back, pops through the front, blind. There's different types of rivets. You can get them in different shapes, sizes, colors, and materials. These are all aluminum with a steel mandrel, which I'll show you what the mandrel part is. You can get them in aluminum, aluminum, steel, steel, stainless, stainless, and every combination uh, in between. They also make them painted for those that want them uh, for a nice surface. And these are a, a really strong fastening device and, and often permanent. You can drill them out if you make a mistake with a special pop rivet drill, or you can use a, uh, uh, a drill and just kind of keep it from twisting and drill them right out. So let's get to some of the, the actual pop rivets, and then we'll show you some of the guns. Pop rivets uh, available in many different sizes. These are the standard 1 8 pop rivet, kind of a longer one for fastening thicker pieces of metal. You'll fa you can fasten uh, a couple pieces of sheet metal to this stuff really well. They're cheap, they're usually really fast, the gun is easy to use, almost available at every hardware store that you'll find. We have uh, larger style sizes of pop rivets with, with, uh, with big heads and flanges. And these are good for, for external places where you want to have a, a lot of bite into the sheet metal and not pull through. They also make backing washers that are similar that slip on the back before you pop rivet. And those are also helpful for thin thin sheet metal type of jobs. The pop rivet uh, gun can either be fastened through this way and or you can change the head and put it right to the top here. So you can get in with a straight type of pop rivet. If you're trying to get into tight places, some of these tools are really flexible and help you do the job really well. This one is kind of a swivel headed device and I'll let you get into a bunch of different areas. You know, if you're odd, odd angles and you, you need to pull a pop rivet and you can't quite get in there or a tight space, this is a really good uh, tool for you to use. Comes with the different bits for different size and thickness of pop rivets. This is a, a cast aluminum tool, really well made, and you pump it into your, uh, your air compressor and you, what you have is basically a pneumatic pop rivet setting gun. They also make one other type of model like this where you have a battery and it's kind of like a cordless tool. Those are kind of expensive. This gun was probably about $230. Uh, in this case we have two sizes of holes. One is for the eighth inch pop rivet and the other is the 3 16 pop rivet. Basically you pop the pop rivet through the hole. In this case we're not really fast or anything but you might have another piece of metal behind it or some uh, sheet metal or something trying to really fasten something other than just pulling the rivet. And in this case we'll hopefully have the right tip in there which needs to match the thickness of the, the mandrel which that's the mandrel of the pop rivet. And you just pop it on and give it a squeeze or two. And it'll slide down and it'll pop off. If you look at the back, what it does is it kind of deforms the back of it so it can't pull through and also makes it really tight. All right, we're just change, finished changing the, the head on the rivet gun to the larger opening for the 3 16 pop rivet. And we're going to shoot one with the large, large, uh, extra large head on it. And the bigger the pop rivet, the more work you're going to have to do. And this is going to be a two-hander. And again, we would normally be fastening a couple of sheets. These are probably pretty long. And you can see this as it's deforming it. Yeah, it's like uh, going to the gym. If you're going to put hundreds of these in a body panel or something, you're probably going to want to get an air gun. And let's uh, hook that up and show you how easy it is to go automated with a little bit of air pressure. Again, we're going to use the pop brand pop rivet gun for a 3 16 since we already have the 3 16 uh, bit in for this. <laughs> Done. So no pain, no gain, but yet uh, very easy to do. And one more just so we can see what it looks like. If you're going to do more than a handful of pop rivets, get an air gun. You'll make your job a hundred times easier. If you're using this in a, a moisture application marine, something like uh, like that, you'll want the closed back ones which are completely sealed in the back and those are the ones that uh, keep the moisture out and you can seal them up a lot better than these. The Clico clips are just really 
uh, somebody came up with this, I don't know, probably uh, 100 years ago in the aircraft industry. All you basically do is put it on, and when you squeeze it, it takes out the center, and you can see it expand when it's in its normal state, and when we compress it, the tip gets smaller so you can push it through the hole. Because we only have two hands, you can use the Clicos to help you put something together where, um, not a pop of a gun, where you, you need a lot of uh, support or assembly, hands-on to assemble it. So what we have now is a pretty, pretty tight assembly that we can start pop riveting. So if I grab the pop rivet now and want to start putting my assembly together, or if I want to do a little metal work to try and bend these corners around, it gives me perfect alignment. And those are easily removed. So right now we're going to start assembling our thing. And as we, as we start assembling, we pull out the Clicos, find another pop rivet, and the last one. So it's a really handy item. It, it kind of gives you like 15 different hands. There's a, a couple of varieties and thicknesses of them. You can use them for eighth inch pop rivets, three sixteenth inch pop rivets. The last piece of the, the Clico kit that you get, and usually you buy these in a kit with a bunch of uh, uh, different sizes, is the, the Clico clamp. And it works basically on the same principle. It's spring loaded, and when you squeeze it, it just opens the clamp up. You can use it for holding sheet metal for welding. These things are great. They're just, they're, they're a few bucks and then you add them to your toolbox. If you're doing any sheet metal work or, or building things where you got to do pop riveting or alignment before you drill all the holes, this is a great kit to have. People probably have seen them, not quite sure what they're used for, but they're great for, for sheet metal, guys putting together cars that need to align the panels before they either bond them, drill them, weld them, or whatever. And then the, uh, the variety of pop rivets gun. My favorite is the air pop rivet gun because anything that makes that kind of noise and has a, a trigger has got to be fun to use, as well as the uh, manual models. And uh, manual models great for at the racetrack. You can't get air pressure and you have to fix a fender that was wrecked by some bad driver or you forgot to do something and a panel came off. This thing can help you just as uh, uh, quickly as, in fact, duct tape. So there's our uh, two tech tips tools of the week on CarCast. See you in the next segment.